And I'm Lel. And we're Made by Marley. Today we're doing a, we made this video. Um, the video is at eight minutes long and we take rubbishy items, things that we don't want anymore. Bits and pieces, you know, like what are we going to do with this? And then what we do is we give them a makeover and we to hopefully turn them into something beautiful we can put on our website. Thank you. So today we're going to make a drafts board, a checkers board out of an old drawer, some spindles and a piece of MDF. The spindles were given to us in a bundle and this is Matt just working out how he's going to attach them and he's cutting them down to make them the height for the legs. He cuts a little square out of the bottom baseboard and uses just an ordinary saw just to cut out the little squares and then he fits the legs in just to check that they fit and then he gets his nail gun and he nail guns the base back onto the drawer so that he can then put the legs back into the drawer and he staple guns them all the way down on both sides just to make that make sure they're extra specially secure and he does that on all four sides and this is how it looks so far so the little drawer now has legs so it's starting to look a little bit more like a table and now he's making the tabletop and he's just battening the back and working out you know the kind of dimensions for the battening just so that the tabletop doesn't move about and you've got a little kind of drawer inside um we were going to put it on hinges but we decided that this was probably the best way I'm using French Chic chalk paint, hot as mustard, and I paint the top, the drawer, and this is it with its first coat. Now, at this point in time, I wasn't caring that it was getting on the handle. I want it, because you're going to see, I want this to look like a really old vintage crate that's been just on the hoof turned into a, a checkers board, a drafts board. Here I am, I'm starting to sand all the pieces down. I want them really heavily distressed. And I do the same with the sides of the drawer on each side. And um, at the moment, the, the legs look really red, but I'm going to be dark waxing those to give them sort of an aged feel. So don't panic that they're quite bright red at the moment. And I just go around all the edges, just making sure that I've got it all kind of chipped. And this is me painting the checkerboard on top. Now, I've never done this before, so I just kind of measured it all out and worked out where my kind of squares were going to go so I'm using a little pouncer that I got from Amazon just to um, pad onto my little squares. I'm using black acrylic paint to do this so and I needed to give it two coats, each square two coats. You don't actually see me doing this but I do give it two coats just to make it more of a solid even though I'm going to be sanding it all back. So that's my first set of squares and the next thing I want to do is I want to make a small border all the way around the edge just to kind of like where the board begins and you know just to finish it off and make it look nice so at this point in time I'm just laying my masking tape down making sure that it's really straight and I'm um, cut it all into place so that when I stencil around it I can make a little border just for around the edges just to make it look like it's been finished off properly and I just measured this all out with masking tape um, I maybe should have googled how to do it but it wasn't really that difficult um, it was pretty straightforward, you know, where you do your one set of squares, you then what you do is you just mask over the top of your second lot of squares um, just and then just, just paint them in basically. So here I am just finishing off my little border and I'm just making sure that I get it quite right because it would be really bad now if it all was a little bit wonky. And this is me just doing the same thing before using that little sponge. It's actually kind of an, it's a funny kind of fabric, but it, they're really good. I think they come in a pack of eight. So this is the border complete. And here's me just popping the masking tape over the squares that I've already done. And I'm just using the same masking tape just so it's not wasteful. Um, and it's the same thickness and I just do the all in it. Now I'm pointing out there, there's a kind of two little kind of rough bits, but it doesn't matter about that because I'm going to really heavily distress this. I've made a lucky lady um, safety matches on my silhouette stencil and I've got a lady's face which I'm going to put on to make it look like an old advertising matchbox sort of crate and I'm trying to make it look as vintage as I can. Everything's blown about because it's a really windy day but I was wanting to be outside so that there was plenty of light for um so you could get a really good idea of what I was doing. So I'm just applying that the stencil that I've made with transfer tape. And again, I'm just going in with the black acrylic paint. And I give it 
two coats of um, black acrylic and the stencil as well so they're nice and sharp but as I say I do go back and really heavily distress it this is me just weeding off the rest of my plastic from my stencil and getting all the little bits pulled out from everything and I had already worked out my positioning and I'm going to stamp here it's a Tim Holes stamp this one um, it's got a lady's face and some flowers and things and I haven't really used the lady before. Now at this point in time I went and touched her cheek and when I patted it down she's got a bit of a rosy cheek but I actually decided I wasn't going to fret too much about it. I quite liked it. Now at this point I just would like to add, I do this same design, the lady's face and the um, lucky lady safety matches on all four sides of the drawers as well. Not on the little front sides, I just don't put the lady but... It, it just cover the whole thing in it just to make sure that the, you know the spaces are filled and it does look like that vintage kind of advertising. I need checkers now so Martin's using an old brush shaft and just cutting me up lots of little checkers. I need 12 of both colours. Now here we are and it's been really heavily distressed. You can see this and I'm just showing you on camera all the distress I've given it. This is before I go in um to wax it and there's a little lid and inside has been given two coats of colour as well just so it's all finished well. I'm using Rust-Oleum dark finishing wax and I just apply that with my wax brush and as you can see that's really settled down in there now and you can see it's given it a really sort of aged and grungy feel. The legs are now not so glaringly bright red and they've had a good coat of dark wax as well and there's all the sides and everything and this is it finished. I just need to paint the little checkers which Martin very kindly cut out. 12 of both colour. I sprayed 12 black and waited for the sides to dry. Flipped them over and sprayed the other sides. And I did 12 red and then what I did with those was I covered them in dark wax so that they weren't so, so bright red. And here is the completed table. All done. And if you like vintage um, things and you have a vintage vintage aesthetic in your house then please feel free to subscribe because we do a lot of vintage things I'm into my typography and I do like to do these kind of things so if you want to see more from us push the bell notification and you'll be reminded when there's a new video and um, give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you again next time thank you very much